Fan mail. Dear Keys, why do you do such weird intros on Netlink Daily? Can't you just welcome people to the video in a nice and normal way? Sincerely, imaginary viewer number 42. Well, actually, no. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Well, it looks like we have the first official confirmation from NVIDIA concerning the 980 Ti's release. The company's Taiwanese division posted this image showing a corner of the card and a Twitch URL. Still no word on official specs, so we're waiting because we have no idea what they are. No idea. Meanwhile, AMD has teased a 300 series card with a seven second video entitled, It's Coming. Unfortunately, both of these teasers do little except confirm that the physical graphics cards do exist. But, I mean, the thought's there. Android Auto is launching now. The 2015 Hyundai Sonata is the first car to get the new OS. New models will come with it pre-installed, but existing owners can also download it through an update. The Sonata will also receive Apple CarPlay support later in the year. Meanwhile, Chevy has announced that 14 of their 2016 models will be compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The car will react to whatever phone is plugged in, Android or iPhone. But both Android Auto and CarPlay presumably place heavy emphasis on voice search, so while it seems like encouraging more phone use while driving isn't a good idea, it should be pretty safe. Qualcomm has entered into an agreement with the Chinese government to produce server-class microprocessors. The company announced its intentions to enter the server market back in November, but looks like this is their first big client. However, the US government may not be too happy about it, given that they blocked Intel from selling Xeon chips to China in April. But Qualcomm's thought of that, and they'll reportedly create an independent legal entity based in China, which will sell the chips to the government. So that's fine. The US will be fine with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Obama. Click bills. JEDEC, or J-E-D-E-C, the regulatory body for memory standards, announced the NVDIMM standard, which allows non-volatile storage to be used in DDR4 RAM slots, meaning you can have essentially permanent storage instead of a non-permanent RAM disk. CryoRig teased their hybrid cooler that keeps your motherboard nice and chill. SanDisk announced their Z400 series of SSDs for laptops and enterprise applications that will be the same price as hard drives. And OnePlus is going to shake up the tech industry on June 1st, just like everyone else at Computex. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Link That's right. Leet speak is only for the leet sores. Okay? Oh, shh. Look, this guy is getting a super good sleep after a hard day spent poning noobs. And I'm no sleep scientist, but I say it's probably because he's sleeping on a Lisa mattress. It's got three layers of premium, breathable foam. It ships compressed in a box to your doorstep for free within days. You can return it for a full refund within 100 nights. Plus, Lisa donates one mattress to homeless shelters for every 10 that they sell. And OMG said you can get 75 bucks off if you go to lisa.com slash NCIX or enter promo code NCIX75 at checkout. That's lisa.com slash NCIX. I'll stop whispering now. Whew. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Okay, I think, I think that's gonna be it. Maybe I can't do a normal intro, but I can manage a normal outro, I think. Yeah. Well, see ya.